Hollett Hamilton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Research shows that nine in ten disabled people are worried about their energy bills this winter. People with disabilities have been one of the hardest hit groups during the cost of living crisis, and yet many are being denied crucial support. One of my constituents in Erdington is a disabled single mother who is currently undergoing chemotherapy. She told me that the mobility element of her PIP has recently been removed and without it she's really struggling. Mr Speaker, with many disabled people worrying about rising costs and unable to afford basic essentials, do ministers really think they've done enough to support them through this cost of living crisis? Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. I'm very sorry indeed to hear uh, the details of the Honourable Lady's uh, constituent. Uh, and if she would like to write to me, I would be very happy to look into the matters that she has raised. More generally, Mr. Speaker, I think it's only fair to say that this government has done an extraordinary amount to support those who are disabled, not least into work, beating all the targets that we set to get a million more disabled people uh, into employment. And of course, in terms of the cost of living payments, along with various other payments, there was a hundred £150 uh, payment to 6 million uh, disabled uh, people up and down the country.